Hey guys, uh, I just want to give a little video instruction of something I, I came up with. Um, I don't know if somebody else has thought the same idea. I did get the uh, extra long paracord laces uh, using those instead of boot laces. I got those from Michael Hawk on uh, Man, Woman, Wild. Uh, but what I did was on my boots, um, I took the shoelaces or the boot laces that were there and I took a uh, paracord and I, of course burned the ends um, so that they wouldn't unravel. And what I did is instead of uh, just making the same length as my boot laces, I made them extra, extra long because I can just wrap the extra uh, up at the top, which gives you better support, uh, ankle support and things like that if you're getting down, you know, stooping down and getting up and everything. That, uh, it's very helpful. Um, gives you extra long laces. So the the reason that, that, that's not my idea, that's Michael Hawks, but what I came up with too is if you're in a tactical situation where uh, things may be tight or uh, you're in an active shooter situation and you don't have you just have whatever you have on you at the time if you do have or another person has a gunshot wound uh, whether it's in the leg or the arm or someplace that you could use a tourniquet to tie it off if you're in a, a situation like that a lot of times you know if you're in an active shooter situation uh, you don't have time to grab a whole bunch of gear you don't have time to wait um, for SWAT team or whatever you just uh, go with what you got on you and uh, that's the ultimate EDC right there so in those cases uh, the extra long shoelaces or the boot laces um, can come in handy because you don't always have paracord in your back pocket you already saw my EDC and this is part of my EDC uh, if you've already seen that video you know you gotta carry a bunch of junk anyway um, so, I mean, just have, you know, you can't have a million pockets. You can't carry everything. Um, and besides, just, it's a killer on your lower back, carrying all that stuff on your belt. Um, that's why most cops have back problems. Um, but if you're in an active shooter situation, somebody's injured, somebody's hurt, it's only you. Um, you've got this extra length of paracord. And I know that, you know, it's very strict on when you use uh, a tourniquet and I'm not going to go into that now um, because there's you know you, you risk the losing the flow to that limb or whatever it is and could cause more damage but it's one of those things if they're bleeding out right then you need something uh, if you have extra sh boot laces like this and you can even go longer if you want um, these are great you can just uh, you can just tie off, actually you can just cut off one boot lace one side because you don't want to cut your mobility of not being able to have no boot lace and you'll be flopping around in a gunfight but you can cut off one side and that is enough to go around the average person's leg arm whatever and you can tie that off. Now another part of the tourniquet is say you tied that off you have that around somebody's leg or, or arm or whatever uh, you can only tie it so tight and then on another tourniquet usually what they have is they have some kind of stick that inserts and then you twist it to get extra pressure uh, and then you can use that to release uh, the pressure to let blood flow just a little bit to that limb uh, but what I do is I, I carry um, uh, a pocket knife with a belt clip and I found that this works perfect uh, you know, you could just cut off a piece of boot lace, you tie it on there, um, you've got that around the leg, you can just take this and slide this on, and that's around the leg, and you can use that to twist that up to get that pressure to where you need uh, to tighten that up, or if you need to release it a little bit, um, you have that right there, and it's handy that so you can twist that up and it doesn't take too many twists to start tighten that up uh, and you can either tuck that back underneath the thing you can reclip it on the paracord you can have the person hold it uh, and they can uh, 
uh, do some self um, treatment if if you're busy. Uh, so that's just one of those things I just want to show out there. Um, I haven't really seen anybody do it, and I thought, you know, hey, if I could show it out there and it might save a life, then it'd be worth it. So thanks, guys, and when in doubt, wrap it in paracord.